But diggers, oh, I'm out and about. I'm with Tim Draper and the crew from Treasures in America. Really excited to be here. Let's go see what we can find. Thanks Spud Diggers for watching our videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you for our new subscribers. Just got my first target. It's ringing up really good. Let's go see what it is. Let's go dig. Well, there it is. First find of the day. Bullet. Not an old one. I've got the MXT with the small coil. Look what I found. That's cool. Could be like a little cup or a little melting thing. Not quite sure. Relic. Oh, just dropped the relic. Yeah, I'm so excited. Look at that. Good iron signal. That's why you've got to dig the iron. Looks like that was off, maybe a, I keep dropping it. Like a spoon or something like that. Awesome. Look at this. It's about four inches down. It's pretty cool. Love finding relics. Just checking in with the guys from Treasures in America. Sean, Tim, hey guys. and Antonio. <laughs> Checking in with Tim. Look what he's found. Okay, so we found these. And there's an interesting story to this. Some pot pottery shards right here. I would uh, say it definitely comes back to, you know, the late 1800s, early mm -hmm. 1900s. Yeah. The interesting thing is, too, is that when I found them, I'm like, oh, this is the place, guys. This is the one that I found uh, last time. And Antonio was using the CDX at the time with a 17 inch double D coil, the smart coil. And even when he had it Antonio, up in the air. Antonio, come on in frame. Get in the frame, don't be shy. <laughs> and even when he put it up in the air like this on the coil, the coil, the detector was just going crazy. Red yeah. marks all over the CDX on the screen. And so he did a sweep. He did, a, everybody did one on their metal detector. And we found, you know, some cans. We found some things like that. I this, think we were about six inches deep when we found uh, these shards, yeah. these pottery oh, wow. shards. So after when they started digging, I took the CDX and I did I did a sweep around like like 20 feet this way, 20 feet this way, the whole perimeter. And every time I get within that eight foot of where they are at, the the CDX goes crazy. I've been using the CDX for a year and a half to two years. I've never seen it do what it does in that area. Interesting. And so now we're finding artifacts, we're finding trash, we're finding pottery. And that whole let's pull out the pulse crazy. machines. Yeah, that's, that's what, what we I'm were thinking. thinking. Okay, yep. all right, well, let's I go check it out. Oh, I'm just checking in with Todd. Oh, look what he found. Dead snake. Dead snake. Ooh, good job. I've got my snake guards on. So we tried out the TDIs on that spot that was making the CTX go crazy. And we found some mineralized rocks. Forgot to video it, I'm sorry. But I was walking along this river and you've already seen it. Look what I found. Real nice bullet. That's awesome. Well, Spud Diggers, thanks for watching our little adventure today. This is my last haul. Boop! <laughs> I thought I was on something really good. But no. Thanks for watching. Till next time, happy hunting and good luck.
Thank you.